Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cinecalyx. And before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know I am currently recording on 4G. I don't have Wi-Fi because my internet provider is down at the moment as I'm recording this. So if this upload is delayed, that is why I wasn't able to upload the video after recording it because I didn't have any internet in my apartment. So without further ado, I thought it would be nice to be positive and give suggestions and feedback and constru constructive criticism to Marvel Future Fight and to the devs, to Marvel, because I've been making a lot of negative, critical videos lately and, you know, offering up, not offering up solutions when you're constantly dishing out problems and you're constantly pointing out what's wrong um, can be frustrating and it can be annoying for some players. So I know you guys love speculation. I know you guys love to imagine what this game would be like if all of the problems just magically went away with the wave of a wand. That's not reality of the situation. No game is perfect, but I think there are easy ways and fun ways for Marvel Future Fight to make this game feel new and fresh for all players. So I have written down, that's right guys, I actually wrote a script or kind of like a script, kind of like a roadmap for today's video. There are five key points to this roadmap starting with daily and weekly challenge rewards. So I'm going to jump right into it, and I'm going to take a page out of a game that I've been playing way too much of lately, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. If you guys don't know Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, it's an amazing game. I'm covering it from time to time on my second channel, Critic Alex. That game, after being released for one month, just improved the daily rewards that players get. So previously, players were getting, you know, five-star... Um, XP potions now they're getting six star XP potions they basically doubled or tripled or and sometimes in some cases they multiplied it by six the value of the reward so it'd be basically like if they were giving away one uh, rank two black antimatter for logging in daily they would now be get or they're now giving you a rank four or rank three sorry I don't have a rank three but a rank three black antimatter which technically takes two rank rank two black antimatter to make so with that in mind, seeing other Netmarble games where they actually generously reward the players for logging in and playing every day, playing every day, not just logging in and logging out, I had some really quick and easy ways for them to make the daily challenges much better for all players. So keep the daily challenges as it is for new players and then create milestones where when players hit those milestones, the daily rewards will be permanently buffed, permanently improved. So for example, after you complete your first epic quest, no matter which one it is, Doctor Strange, Wolverine, Deadpool, or Fantastic Four, um, the daily rewards will improve permanently to now give you an additional 150 level 5 XP chips. So you don't, it doesn't really matter how you divvy it up, you can put whatever uh, 25 XP chips in each of the five rewards here at the bottom in addition to the, the energy, or you can put it up at the top with the 25 crystals. It could just be side by side crystals and 150 level five XP chips and the level five XP chips, not really great for veterans, but obviously amazing for new players. What about for players who are a little bit further along? Okay, new, new challenge. Once you get your first deluxe pack, once you save up the crystals and purchase your first deluxe pack character, doesn't matter which one it is, but once you get that character to tier two via their quest and via farming for their biometrics, you now unlock a permanent buff to the, the weekly crystals. So now instead of getting 30 weekly crystals, you get 60 weekly crystals. Hmm? You see how cool this is? Okay, how about another one? The, the After you beat Thanos World Boss Ultimate, because it's the only difficult one left, after you beat Thanos World Boss Ultimate Stage 30 for the first time, or Stage 40, or Stage 50, you can make it more difficult or less difficult, um, you'll permanently improve the daily rewards so that you're getting 25 Black Antimatter and 25 Chaos Nordstones per day. These are really easy changes they can make, and it already sounds super fun, right? Okay, moving on to the next one, Timeline Battle. Very, very easy changes for them to make. All right, this, okay, this one, okay, maybe not as easy, but still, in my opinion, it's very easy. Scrap this league system, create three leagues. Restriction league, no restriction league, thematic league. You're going to like the thematic league, trust me. Uh, instead of giving you just 10 entries, you get 30 entries a day that you can choose to split between the restriction, no restriction, or thematic. So if you love thematic, you can go play all 30 times in thematic. If you love no restriction, you can play all 30 there. If you love them all equally, like a mother of three children, like my mom, 
shout out mom uh then you will play each one 10 times so you still get your 10 runs if you want but you can split it between the three what are these three that you're asking well restriction would be very straightforward they would restrict you so that you can only use each character once if you win so i have up to 30 matches but if i want to win 30 times i'm gonna have to use 90 different characters so you get to get your one win with gene gray and you get to cheese the enemy but then you don't get to do it again then you have the no restriction league the no restriction league is exactly what we have now with just a weekly banned list and a weekly uh recommended list and this would be you know what we've come to expect from marvel future fight and then my favorite the thematic league this league would force you to use specific characters from a specific subset so for example you'll have maybe a week or a month it can be a month-long event or a week-long event where you're going to have to use characters from the Asgardian family. So maybe you, you put together a team of Odin lead with Thor and Loki, or you want to put Odin with um, Hela and Loki, or you want to try, you know, Valkyrie, Angela, and Jane Foster. Um, and so, you know, you have these restrictions, and you have these fun little things that you can do, and everybody else has to follow it too. So if you, if you really just want to fight Asgard versus Asgard all month long or all week long, you can do that with those specific teams. Maybe, maybe one week it's going to be Asgard family, another week is going to be Heroes for Hire, another week is going to be Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., another week is going to be Mutants, yada, yada, yada. And then, very simply, the last thing, the last step they have to do is just double the weekly crystal rewards that they're currently giving for playing. Double these rewards. They don't have to double these rewards, but everything here that is actually attainable, double all of these crystal rewards for the Restricted League, give players a big gold reward for the No Restriction League, and then give players big biometric selector rewards for the thematic leagues. Very straightforward, very fun, um, and really allows you to use your roster. Crazy idea. Next up, we have Shadowland. Shadowland is very straightforward. Get rid of these Shadowland boxes. They're absolute trash. And then do exactly the same thing that you did with Dimension Missions and the Support Shop. Every time we play Shadowland, we get those Shadowland coins. Those coins can then be used in a Shadowland shop to get these rewards. You can decide how long you want to take players. You can decide how long it's going to take players to get these rewards. If you don't want to give these rewards to every player, you can have certain restrictions before you can purchase these items. So, for example, let's say it costs 500 tokens, 500 Shadowland tokens to get a CTP of Rage, but you have to beat stage 90 before you can unlock the CTP of Rage purchase option. When you first unlock the shop, you can only purchase the Egg and Authority. And then if you get to stage 40, you can purchase destruction. If you get to stage 60, you can purchase energy, 80, this one, and 100, this one. And yada, yada, yada for all of these other rewards as well. And you can put premium cards in there as well. You, you see how it goes. But this, this is a, such a better idea than what we have right now. And then last but not least for Shadowland, very, very easy change. Add more stages featuring new characters and new uniforms. It's a great way to advertise the game. I've said this before. They could do something simple and they could just add three new stages per update. They, they introduced three new characters, so we should be able to fight those characters and see how they play in Shadowland. Oh snap, guys, the House of X update is out. I wonder how strong Professor X is in Shadowland. Let me go fight him. Holy crap, guys, have you tried the Mystique stage in Shadowland? It's so hard. I'm going to have to spend some money on this really fun, rewarding game so that I can smack that Mystique in the face with my big dong juggernaut. You know? That's the kind of stuff that I want to do. I want to be spending money in this game. I want to be having fun. Play Some players think that because I want to boycott or because I'm angry at the game or whatever, I hate the game. I love this game. I want to spend money on this game, but I'm not just going to squander the money that I that I work for uh, on a game that, you know, isn't listening to us and is just, just turning out characters like a Barbie factory. Anywho, second to last, we have Squad Battle. Really, really easy rewards. For really, really easy. I already spoiled the joke here. Really, really easy changes for squad battle. Double the rewards. Then double the rewards again. There you go. There you have it. So easy. Just double the rewards twice. Give us 30 of these or 40 of these. I can't even do math. Give us 40 of these for clearing this. Give us 80 of these and give us uh, four of these boxes. Done. You're done. That's so easy. Wow. Thanks, Cynic Alex. Thanks, Netmarble. Marvel Future Fight is really the best mobile game. Last but not least, we have Alliance Battle and Alliance Battle Extreme. Very easy changes to these game modes, or should I say game mode, to make it so much better. First of all, you should scrap Alliance Battle. It's an absolute joke. It's stupid. There's no reason to have Alliance Battle and Alliance Battle Extreme. Let it go. 
it was cool three years ago it's not cool anymore so you just delete alliance battle and fold all of the rewards of alliance battle into alliance battle extreme first step step number two give us a try again button it is absolutely a joke that you do not give a try again button in alliance battle extreme lastly create new small daily rewards and then larger weekly rewards for hitting certain point numbers so for example today uh, or on any day for example rather than having that rather than having just this you'll have rewards for hitting you know today if you hit 1 million points you get an extra reward if you hit 2 million points you get an extra reward 5 million points 7 million points and then at the end of the week it calculates how many points you got in total and it gives you another reward so you have this here for alliances if your alliance ranks in a certain bracket but they should have it for the players as well keep this the same that's fine but if the player hits 5 million or 10 million or 15 million or 20 million for the week or 30 million for the week give them rewards so for the smaller daily rewards you could give like gold and uniform xp chips and maybe some tier 2 materials and then those larger weekly point totals you could drop tier 3 materials five and six star comic cards and odin's blessings these are my just quick and dirty ideas for how they could really change this game and really revitalize it in a way that's fun for all players of all types whether they're new or they are veterans i think for newer players you really have to focus on the rewards and i think for veterans you really have to focus on alliance battle timeline or uh, pvp and uh shadowland i think those are the really big keys and i didn't even mention stuff quality of life stuff like inventory i didn't mention any of the bugs in danger room and stuff like that because those are other things that they can fix but obviously i don't want to sit here and, and you know have a 35 minute video where i explain every single thing that i think they should fix in the game i think these things are so easy to do and most of them are super easy to do it's literally just typing in different numbers for the rewards and different it's so easy it doesn't take any dev time way easier than doing a, a april fools joke so maybe next year for april fools we will get these changes what do you guys think huh? huh huh so yeah let me know what you think of my suggestions let me know maybe some you would suggest if you don't like some of mine thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one take care